بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمدللہ رب العالمین و صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم علی نبی محمد و علی آلہ و صحبہ و سلم اما بعد glad tidings for those who read the Quran and who have difficulty with the Quran, especially those of us who Arabic is not our first tongue, and that we struggle with Kitabillah to be on our tongue. So glad tidings from the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. An Aishata radiallahu ta'ala anha qalat qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam alladhi yakra al-Qur'an wa huwa mahirun bih ma'a safarati al-kirami barara walladhi yakra al-Qur'an wa yatata'ta'u fihi وَهُوَ عَلَيْهِ شَاكٌ لَهُ أَجْرَانٌ مُتَفَقٌ عَلَيْهِ In this hadith that was in, uh, collected in Bukhari and Muslim, the hadith of Aisha رضي الله تعالى عنها, the mother of the believers, she said that the message of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said, the one who reads the Quran with perfection, meaning they have a lot of, they're, they're excellent in reading. That they are with the Safarati Kiramin Barara. And those, and the one who reads the Quran and has difficult, it's difficult on their tongue, heavy on their tongue. And it is a hardship upon them. Then they will receive two rewards. And this is collected in Bukhari and Muslim. Letting us know and giving us glad tidings that although we struggle with the Quran, that your reward is twice if you struggle. It's not your language. And you're striving, you're striving to learn its meaning. You're striving to learn the ahkam of the Quran, tajweed, and the rules of tajweed and, 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 and so forth. And trying to to beautify your, your sound and so forth. But Allah will not waste any of your ajr. None of your reward will, none of it will be lost. So this is glad tidings for the believer. And glad tidings for those who read the Quran. As well as glad tidings for the one who is mahir. That their reward is azim. And so... That should encourage us to read the Quran and strive to perfect our our tajweed, our, our, our recite recitation. At least so it's a recitation that's sound, that's sahih, that you can pray with, and that perhaps you can teach others at least some ayat from the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya na Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.